Hi and welcome back to the Media Box. We are sitting here in front of the Hemicycle in the Council of Europe headquarters in Strasbourg and it's the occasion of the 27th session of the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities. With me today is Tesni Maya from the UK. Thank you for coming. You are a youth delegate and uh, Tesnim, you are also elected youth police and crime commissioner of the municipality of Sandwell in England. What's that exactly? Oh, um, well, hello Nicola, that's the first thing I'd like to say, it's nice to be here. Um, the Youth Police and Crime Commission, it's a long name, but it's simple really. I'm voicing youth views. The police wanted to um, have a youth advisor kind of role, a youth advocator, someone to get the views of young people across to the police. So it's kind of like a co-management system. That's what they basically want. They mm -hmm. don't want to just assume what young people want. They want mm -hmm. someone to be there to represent young people. Mm -hmm. And I'm responsible for ensuring the safety of young people, so giving uh, the police ideas, giving the council ideas. And it's also across the West Midlands, because there's 14 of us, two for each municipality. And we all come together and we discuss what can be best, what we can do together, um, best for the West Midlands youth. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Um, how did you get involved in this job? Um, well, uh, I was just in high school. I was from a working class background. I was, you could say, I was lazy. I didn't really focus on my GCSEs. And there was a few active people who were involved in something called the Sandwell Shadi Youth Cabinet. And it was later in the year where someone said, "Oh, come to this debate session." And on the day, I didn't really want to go. I just wanted to sleep. That, mm -hmm. That's how I looked at life: sleeping. That was my happiness. But uh, I was forced to go and I went and I was shocked at seeing these young people so enthusiastic about making change and we were, we were having conversations about social issues, political issues and I always thought politics was boring but politics is everything about life, it's everything mm -hmm. in life, everything from the problems minorities have to the problems uh, of inequality between um, homosexuals, uh, gender inequality. I found out all, all this in one place and it's the kind of conversations mm -hmm. that I like to have. And from then on, I, I joined my local youth council, and because I was just so passionate, I mean, I found my purpose in life, that I um, got um, onto the Sandwell Shadow Youth Cabinet, which was quite lucky. And th that from then on, I started um, as a secretary. After a while, they needed a secretary. Mm -hmm. I got elected for the secretary role. And then it just started from then on, where I just, local um, youth centre, I used to walk there, I used to work with young offenders, mm -hmm. I, I did all this, I met different kinds of people, there was a lot of multicultural integration going on and I learned a lot about people's backgrounds, a lot about people, a lot about community and I did, I think I did like nine roles at once, mm -hmm. different roles just in my local community and I just kept wanting to go forward, I just, I, I didn't stop and I wanted more for myself and that's mm -hmm. how I started getting involved in youth issues, youth politics. Mm -hmm. Uh, yesterday during the youth debate you were advocating for a special sort of education. Could you explain me that in detail? Well, um, in the UK in 2012, the United Kingdom Youth Parliament did a ballot paper across the nation. Young people voted on this and what happened was they voted for uh, five issues, five top issues, and then it got debated in the House of Commons and the Curriculum for Life won the debate for 2012. Mm -hmm. Then in 2013 it became another uh, issue again. Even though it won, it became uh, voted the top fifth issue and they put it to the end of the fifth because you know it already won, it's already a focus, already a priority. I've heard it's also in the ballot papers again for 2013 but it, it won the debate, I've, I've read the report on it and um, it, it's good. Um, the, the speaker for uh, the Curriculum for Life was really inspirational saying you know we need to learn about politics, we need to learn about finance, mm -hmm. sex and relationships, we need to learn about in intercultural relate. we need to learn about everything because mm -hmm. that's what life is and there's a few quotes that emphasise that um, the purpose of education is to make minds not careers and education is not just um, preparation for life, it is life itself. And that's true because even, even without the education system, you're learning through life. Mm -hmm. And if we could start at the grassroots and teach young people everything about life, politics, culture, everything that they need to know, it would make them better human beings. It would be moral values as well, as well that they would learn. And if this could happen across Europe, it would create a better society, a better region in Europe. Education can tackle um, problems such as unemployment. I remember when I um, was unemployed for a long time, I was so upset I can't find a job because there's a high unemployment problem, mm -hmm. um, youth unemployment problem in the UK. But I found out that instead of just being upset about it, if I go on the internet, if I go out and apply, mm -hmm. it took me a month, but I got a job. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have any previous experience in an actual job, I just had my volunteering. Mm -hmm. 
but I managed to get a part-time job to help me during university. So when you realise you can take control of your own life and you start getting out there out of your own comfort zone, mm -hmm. you realise you can achieve anything. And that's what I learned through volunteering, that I am the driver of my own life. That's, that's the, the power of education. Not everyone realises this, oh, school's boring, but education can do that. Mm -hmm. It just teaches you everything. Everything I've learned up till now from my volunteering, I wish I learned it in school. I wish I learned it from the minute I was five. I wish someone taught me French, um, you know, strictly, because it, it, there's not that much value placed on foreign languages in the UK in mm -hmm. high schools. I wish someone taught me French, Spanish, every single language, German. I, I'd be amazing here. I could go out into mm -hmm. the world, because the European Union is open. You can travel anywhere without a visa. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something amazing. And I, I don't think any, the young people in the UK realise the opportunities that are out there in other European countries and um, the amount of enjoyment you can get from going to another country and experiencing life there and uh, working in a job there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you obviously have um, a great interest in this yeah. uh, educational topic and uh, uh, how to say great uh, enthusiasm. Yeah. Um, how do you think could the Congress help to spread this enthusiasm and to promote these ideas all over Europe? Well, um, when they give their recommendations, they can definitely put education at the top of their list. I'm, mm -hmm. From hearing from the other delegations of other countries, they seem to say, oh, you know, education is the key, and that's true, education is the key. It makes us who we are. We're a collection of experiences and memories. Yeah. We become who we are through our education, through our families, who we meet, and the education system can be a valuable um, way for that. If Congress can make all local authorities and regions promote that, promote a curriculum for life, a citizenship education which teaches all this, or just having the normal educational curriculum, just teaching all these things in every subject, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, coming to my last question, um, your parents are Bengali from Bangladesh yeah. and you are UK born. Would you say you are sort of a representative for the diversity in Europe? Um, yeah, I, I'd like to say that I love multiculturalism. I come from an area where there's different, there's different people from different areas. There's black minorities, there's Indian, Bengali, Pakistani, there's um, white, Polish, Bosnian. You get all this culture in there. Sandwell is one of those places. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's very diverse and it's very nice and you meet lots of different people. Diversity, I mean, not a lot of people realise that uh, multiculturalism brings more to the economy mm -hmm. and um, they uh, other people, immigrants, might do lower skill jobs that no one else wants to do. It's, it's good for the economy and I've learned that um, coming to Congress today and diversity, it's fantastic. It opens your, it widens your horizons and I've learned that at the heart. I've learned that in Strasbourg. Tazin, thank you very much for coming and good luck for all of your thank projects. You. And if you wish to see more from Tasnim, you can go to coe.int and watch all of the videos from the Congress session here in Strasbourg. Thank you very much for um, tuning in and stay in touch.